I recommend that you leave your unit on auto. And this is why. If you're on sonar, as this one is, you press menu, you see sensitivity at the top, press enter, and you notice the bar is self-adjusting as the distance over here increases or gets shorter it pulls it down as it gets deeper it pushes it up which means at a short distance there's no need to yell but yet if you're at a long distance you need to yell a little louder and sensitivity is nothing more than a volume switch it is automatically adjusting the volume for you so leave your sensitivity alone there's a feature in your sonar menu that a lot of people kind of misunderstand. Where it says stop chart, you'll notice that there is not an X there. The reason it's not is because stop chart simply means you have turned the transducer off. So if you press X, you see that it stopped and there's no longer recording. That is just an off and on switch for your transducer. So if you have a unit and all of a sudden you don't get any recordings from me, think the unit's gone bad, I suggest you turn on your menu and see if you don't have an X in that box, because when you take the X out of the box, it works. As long as an X in the box, it doesn't work. Straight to that waypoint. This is the second package on Title Electronic 3, 2, the depth cursor, while on full screen sonar, punch the menu one time and go to depth cursor, press enter. The cursor is a ruler. You see the ruler moving down and see the numbers on the right side. That way you can measure exactly the depth or the height of that and the height of this and that gives you the distance in between. That object it was 20 feet tall. That is your horizontal cursor. I usually keep it up in the top part of the screen. Here is a cursor that's absolutely wonderful. You see the vertical line and the little flag bug with the numbers? I just made a waypoint of that object which was way behind the boat. If you position this cursor wherever you want to, I usually run mine in the middle. But say you missed it, so you run over here and chase that object down, and as soon as it gets right there, you press waypoint one time, and you have just made a waypoint, allowing you to go back to a waypoint with information. Back, allow, allowing you to go back to that waypoint that you have just passed over, and you don't have to go back and search for it anymore. It's right where it was. As long as that information is on the screen, as long as it's on the screen, you put that vertical cursor on it and press waypoint one time, and you have just made a waypoint of your favorite drop off, your favorite rock, your favorite brush pile. And it could be as far as 100 yards behind you.